communication. An FLR is the solution. Good day everyone. Okay, today we have a video, um, as you can see, Japanese. We're going to talk about the Masu, the Masho, actually the Masho, I should say. Let's do this, let's do that. Um, this actually was a video request uh, by, a, by a friend of mine by the name of uh, Eaton. Eaton, I think that's his name, Eaton. Eaton from, from France, I think. Um, I had this on the board for a while. It's been almost a week. I just didn't have a chance to um, make the video for it. So uh, I'm just going to go through this. It's very simple. Um, once you once you see these examples as I made, you'll get the concept. You'll understand what's going on. So, um, yeah, some other books. Uh, I mentioned some other books like the grammar books for learning Japanese. I will post a link uh, to the videos where I talked about those. I think it's kind of redundant to show you the uh, textbooks in this video I'll let you go check out the other videos where I'll talk a little bit more about those grammar books for every for any of you any of you who are learning Japanese those books will be very 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 useful so make sure you check out the uh, the link in the description box alright let's get started my time is one more time looking good the zoom in is looking good okay so, let me see, is that clear enough? That should be good. Yeah, I think that should be good. All right, so, again, we're talking about masho. Now, it's very simple. When you have a verb in the masu form, tabemasu, ikimasu, yomimasu, uh, kikimasu, all those verbs in the masu form, all you're going to do is turn the masu into masho, like here. You see how I did here? Masu becomes masho. Iki, for example, ikimas, ikimasho. Tabemas, tabemasho. Uh, torimas, torimasho. Yobimas, yobimasho. Asobimas, asobimasho. Mimas, mimasho. That simple. You're just going to take the masu, drop off the su, and add sho like that. That's all you need to do. That simple. So, for example, I have ikimas. One second. Okay. I have ikimas. Example in ikimas means you're going to go or you go in general. So, daigaku wo sotsugo shite kara nihon ni ikimashou. Daigaku wo sotsugo daigaku wo sotsugo shite kara nihon ni ikimashou. So, after I graduate from college, Let's go to Japan. Daigaku is the college. O sotsugyo. Sotsugyo by itself means graduation or ceremony. But when you have suru, we add suru after that. Turn into a verb, it means graduate. So, shite kara. We talked about te kara before. Te kara means after. You do after something happens. In this case, after the, after you graduate. So, sotsugyo shite kara. Put that suru, put it in te form. Then that kara is after. So, sotsugo shite kara, nihon ni ikimashou. So, nihon ni, in the direction of Japan, ikimashou. Let's go. Okay? That's simple. So, daigaku wo, sotsugo shite kara, nihon ni ikimashou. After we graduate, after I graduate from college, or after we graduate from, after I graduate from college, let's go to Japan. Now, these here, iku, this is... You guys know that, that that's the dictionary form of ikimas, right? So there's an informal way of saying this, masho, masho. Of course, it's going to be different. So iku being the dictionary form or infinitive, whatever you want to call it. Um, you have ku iku. If you want to say let's do this, let's do that, but you want to do you want to you want to use the familiar form, it will look like this, iko. Iku becomes ko, iko, iko. So, for example, nihon ni 
日本に行こう。日本に行こう。Now it's different for, for all verbs, of course. I'll show you some other examples here in a minute. This here, ikoka. Ikoka. That means, shall we go? Shall we go? Shall we go? Ikoka. Like, ikimashouka. Like you say, ikimashouka. Put the kai for that. Let's, shall we go? Shall we do this? Shall we do that? So, ikouka, shall we go? So, iku, nihon ni iko. Let's go to Japan. Ikouka, shall we go?、Um, let's see, the next one is tabimas. Tabimas means to eat in general or going to eat. So,、uh, like before, tabimas, masu, you're going to turn masu, drop off the su, and add sho, and be tabimasho. So, Bango ano tabete kara keiki o tabemasho. Bango ano tabete kara keiki o tabemasho. So,、um, bango han, that means dinner. Bango han o tabete kara. So, after, after I eat the dinner, tabete kara. There's the te kara again there. After I eat the dinner, te kara. Keiki, the cake o tabemasho. Let's eat the cake. After I eat the dinner, or after we eat the dinner, let's eat the cake. Tabemasho. So the dictionary form of tabemasho will be taberu, as we know. Now, if you want to use the familiar form, tabeyo, tabeyo, tabeyo. That means let's eat. It's the same as tabemasho, but it's less formal. Tabeyo, tabeyo. And then, like before, we had ikoka. Tabe yoka. Tabe yoka. Shall we, shall we eat? So,、um, I don't know. Let me think of a,、um, a good. Like, when you want to use the informal way of, of, of、uh, making a suggestion, let me see. So, let's take. We had ku, iku. You look at the last letter, which is ku, and you want to turn to. You want to, you want to basically make an O sound. So, iku, o,、uh, iku, ko. Turn, make ku sound like an o sound, which will be ko, and then add a u. Ko.、Uh, let, me, let me think of some other、um, easy ones.、Uh, asobu, which is to play. As, asobu. Asobu, which means to play. If you want to say let's play, you want to make a suggestion like that. Boo, you want, to, you want boo to sound like an O, so it becomes what? It becomes bo, and then you add o. Bo, asobo, asobo. If it's a mu,、uh, what's the word? What's the verb ending with、uh, mu?、Uh, nomu, let's try nomu. So you have、uh, nomu. If you want, to, you want to change this, you want to say let's drink, nomu means to drink, it'd be nomo. So you want mu to sound like an O. Which would be mo, right? Mo and add u. Mo. No mo. That's how you do it. Now, you do have some exceptions. You got to remember, there are some, some exceptions like taberu. You don't take a ru and you don't say lo. And you have to drop off the ru and add a yo. This is a c e r t a i I think I talked about this before. There's like、um, these, these different classes. All the verbs are in different classes in the chain. And I think. You need to get that, that Japanese book,、uh, the JOPT Level 3 book. You need to get that because they explain things really, really well in that book when it comes to that, those different types of charts. All right, let's go ahead and finish up this last one before my time runs out. So we got Hajime Masho. Hajime Masho. Let's begin. So, Subute no Seito ga mo koko ni iru no re jugyo Hajime Masho ka. Subute no Seito ga. もうここにいるので、授業を始めましょうか。So,、um, 始めましょう。Like I said,、um, let's begin. Shall we begin? すべてのせいと。すべて means all. すべて means all. So, すべてのせいと。All the students. すべてのせいとが、もうここにいるので、Mo is already, Kokoniru is here, being here, existing here. 
No de means so or therefore. So all of the students are already here. So all all of the students are already here. So jugyo wo hajimimashou ka? Shall we begin the class? Jugyo means class. Okay. Jugyo means class. So all the students are already here. So shall we begin the class? Shall we begin the class? So the plain form of hajimimas is hajimeru. Hajimeru means to begin. Hajime yoka. Hajime yoka. Shall we? Shall we begin? Shall we start in the um, less formal or familiar way? So that's all you have to do. It's that simple. Masu is is very it's very easy because all the masus uh, follow this follow this same rule. If it if it ends with the masu, all you have to do is drop off the su and add show. Masho, tabi masho, iki masho, yomi masho, asobi masho, nomi masho. All those words. That's all you do in that in the um in the um polite form. Now, when you start using the familiar form, the verbs kind of change. But as you use them more, you start to become, you know, you, you start to become accustomed to them. So, um, like I said, there's a book that you guys want to get. This book here. This is that book I always introduce in, in my Japanese videos and structured videos. This book is very useful and they explain things really well. They even give you charts. So that's it. That's all you need. Um, I love, I enjoy making these videos here. Try to help out. Try to help out those of you who are learning Japanese, uh, particularly beginners. So um, yeah, if you have any other questions, just let me know. And um, I also think when you make these type of videos it's very good for yourself like you learn more about the language you learn it's just it's amazing like I don't really use Japanese on a daily basis I don't I'm not in an environment but I, I help a lot of people I make these videos or I have these tutoring sessions and I get to help them learn a language and it helps me to learn at the same time so I will advise those of you who are you know uh, learning certain languages but you can't use them and it, you know you're not living in an environment. Um, this is a really good way. You can help some. Someone may have uh, questions. You know, produce a video, um, explain to them how certain things work. It's a good thing. So, all right, that's it for this video. Um, again, if you have any questions about Japanese construction, whatever you're stuck on, you're just starting a language. Let me know, and I'll uh, produce a video for you. I will try to get I will try to get the video out as soon as I can. Um, also, if there are anything, if there are any um, any uh, mistakes in this video, uh, let me know, correct them, and put it in the description area, or make a video response. Because a lot of people watch these type of videos, and if I mess if I mess up, I will I want people to see the correction. So, um, yeah. So I will appreciate it, or we we all will appreciate it if you if you will um, correct anything that's wrong here. So, all right, thanks for viewing, and I look forward to you guys' comments or video responses or whatever it is you want to do.